Hi, I'm Sean Watt from Sydney, Australia. I'm here at Roots Tech as an ambassador. And um, I'm here with Jill Ball, AKA Ginny Oz. And we're going to together interview Ben Bennett from Find My Past. Um, hi, Ben. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Jill and I are both very long time users of Find My Past. And uh, we've watched it extend from the UK to Australia and, and roll out. And it's, it's Friday today, so we all know that it's Find My Past Friday. Find My Past Friday, that's but right. But some people might not know what that is. Would you mind explaining what Find My Past Friday is? Yeah, absolutely. So Find My Past Friday, one of the, th one of the commitments we made to our customers is that every Friday we're going to release new records. Um, and so at least once a week we're releasing new records. Uh, we send a, you know, a, a reasonably you know, long email to our subscribers, sometimes longer than others. Um, but in general, always five or six new data sets at least where there's, where there's interest there. Um, and we let our subscribers know every week there's something brand new coming down, coming down the pipe. Um, you know, we're, we're really excited about that because I, you know, I think there's always something to talk about. And so Find My Past Fridays are the days we talk about it at least once a week. Um, we bring new content to you and hopefully new names that fuel new discoveries. Yes, you had some really interesting ones about convicts hiding in South Australia. And yes. It's given me an idea to where to go to look for my missing convict. Yes. And you had a momentous um, announcement for America we this did. morning about we did. marriage records because unlike we're very privileged in Australia, we have online births, deaths and marriages. So um, what are your plans for the marriage records for the States? Yeah, so, I, you know, like you said, in, in the United States, it's very different um, because marriage records are all kept at the county level. And there's, there's you know, 3,500 counties within the United States. So to get those marriage records, someone generally has to go to each county. There's no online, sort of online uh, database or anything like that. And so, uh, you know, what we said is, is, you know, everyone has a copy of the census and the census is great and that's foundational. What's the next most important record set that people don't have? And so the U.S. marriage collection came up, uh, you know, for us. And, and being able to go to all of those counties um, is a monumental task. Mm. We partnered with Family Search. Um, you know, there are 2,800 counties that at this point that are done. And so we felt like there was enough that was done to where we can announce it uh, and to where we can, we can start moving. Now, we won't necessarily stop at those 2,800, but... Within that, it's about 100 million records, um, about 450 million names that, that we expect will come out of that. Um, coverage across 47 states. Um, I mean, we're really, really excited That's about amazing. it. Yeah. How many counties would there be in total? So uh, about so 3,500 counties in total. Okay, so that's a yeah. huge So 2,800 out of, yeah, out of 35, Whoa. right? So I'll it's bet, very, very significant. But mine you know. won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mm. So we joined you when you were just UK and yes. then you had Australia and then you came to the mm -hmm. States. What plans have you got for global expansion? You know, it's a great question. Um, you know, I think we, we definitely have uh, sort of some ambitious plans. Mm -hmm. and, and yet, I'll tell you, and, and you know, I, I always worry about uh, <laughs> telling people this because it sounds a little unambitious. Oh. Um, you know, our core is, is, the, you know, is the UK and the Commonwealth uh, and the States. And we want to be sure that we're really doing a great okay. job. And so yeah. what we've sort of said is for the next year, you know, to 18 months, um, we still feel like there's enough work to do in those core areas that we're going to be really focused on ensuring that we get those right. In the UK, for example, um, we have really good coverage across a number of counties. Uh -huh. There are a few counties oh, where, where we don't have good coverage. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm getting my team very focused on that. Same thing in the States. And, and what the goal we've sort of set for ourselves um, as we've said, we want eight out of 10 people who come to the site to find something about their families every time, oh, right? Okay. Um, and so our focus for the next 12 to 18 months is gonna to be to ensure that we're really doing a great job in those core areas. Okay. Beyond that then, we start to look at sort of global expansion. And we're not, we're not ready to announce any you know, okay. global expansion or specific countries now, but I will tell you, um, we, are doing, you know, we are doing work beyond our, our normal borders to sort of prepare. Um, but we'll get, the, we'll get the train on the tracks yeah. uh, for our core areas, ensure that that content is coming in, that we're publishing more for our subscribers. And then, you know, maybe, maybe Roots Tech this time next Woo! year, we'll be talking, <laughs> talking about something broader. Um, right. Well, you, you know, we're both not first-time users, but if I was a first-time user, 
of Find My Path, what yeah. would be the best way for me to get the most out of the site? Yeah, it's, it's a really, really great question. Um, you know, and, and you know, the, the answer is not super complex, but I give you two, I would say two things. Number one, um, you know, be sure and add your tree to, to the site. Um, you know, if you have a tree from another, you know, from another site, that's okay. Um, we make it really easy to upload your GEDCOM. If you don't have a tree, start to build that tree on, yeah. on Find My Pass because we're adding new records all of the time. And what we're also adding is new information to existing record okay. sets. So for example, yeah. um, you know, we have a set of passenger lists of passengers oh, yeah. who went between the UK and the US. You like these and other places. <laughs> <laughs> so we're adding, uh, one of the fields that we just added to that collection was we just got the data on where they were headed. So we knew where they were coming from, but they actually gave us data on where they were headed. And so we updated that. So if your tree is on Find My Path, then we, we, can, we can hint that out to you and share that with you and say, hey, listen, we found something new. Um, for example, the, uh, the woman who gave the keynote on the first day of Roots Tech, you know, finding Samuel Lowe. Oh, yeah. I was sitting there in the keynote and I, and I said, okay, I've got to find this record on our site. And I found Samuel Lowe. And with the updated data that we, we had just added, I found that her, her ancestor came through New York, but he was headed to Quebec. Uh, actually, that was his destination. And so that's the first thing I would tell you is, is, do, mm -hmm. is do that. Add your tree to, to find my past. Um, okay. Can you we know, upload yeah. a GEDCOM? You can upload a GEDCOM, yes. And can you make it private or is, is it all public in, on your in site? Fact, in <laughs> fact, um, it's, it's funny, all of our trees are private by oh, default. Okay. Right now on our site, there is no yeah. way to make our trees public. And oh. so, uh, you know, w that's something that we will be working on because we yeah. do know people want to share yeah. trees, but it is private by default. Um, so yeah, upload your GEDCOM. It's, it's very private, very secure. Yeah. That's, the, that's really the thing I would tell a first time user, um, you know, as you're, as you're getting started. And um, what about searching? What's Wonder. the best way to search? Because there's several ways to search. And yeah, there are, there are several ways to search. And so, um, you know, we have sort of our, our global search, um, you know, which, which you know, um, is one option, but I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of two other options on our site, right? Advanced search, um, I, you know, I think on our site, if you, you know, if you understand how to use advanced search, um, works fairly well. There are some, there are some, you know, videos and help and, and resources on the site that will teach you how to use that. Um, but we pick up many more names in that advanced search. The other thing that I'm a big fan of is if you go on the site, um, under the main header bar, it says A to Z listing of record yes. sets, right? Yes. Um, because sometimes you're searching for a very specific town or yes. name. Yes. I would go to that A to Z listing of record sets, find what you're looking for, and then you can search within that record set, and that becomes very, very powerful. So that would right? be very good for someone who's doing a one-place study. Absolutely. A, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Well, thank you, Ben. It's been really lovely talking to you. And Absolutely. Thank you, Jill. Yeah. And I just wish we had more than eight minutes because <laughs> so many questions are in my head. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. No, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks.